Hey friends, welcome back to Active Self Protection Extra. We're here again at Ben Avery's shooting facility. I'm doing some shotgun work today, and uh, you know that I love this Federal Flight Control 8 Pellet Double Op Buck, but I also found some Federal Triple Op Buck in a two and three quarter inch shell, eight pellet triple op buck. And so I wanna show you from a pattern perspective today, while I still absolutely adore this stuff, even over a triple op, because a lot of people have asked me about it. Today's video is made possible thanks to the generous sponsorship of companies like LuckyGunner.com. Please head to LuckyGunner.com and thank them for being a sponsor of Active Self Protection. So the reason I'm showing you the box is that the shells on the outside look identical. They're red federal shells, okay? So you guys know you've seen this on the channel a good bit. It is 12 gauge, two and three quarter inches, eight pellet double up buck with a flight control wad at 1145 feet per second. This is the reduced recoil federal flight control eight pellet double up buck. This on the other hand is the federal eight pellet triple up buck two and three quarters inches. This is 1,325 feet per second muzzle velocity. So it is a full power load. And uh, one of the things you notice that actually Federal puts it on the side of the box and I, I, the sunlight would keep you from doing it. The double up buck are 0.33 inches and the triple out are 0.36 inches. So I wanna talk about what we're gonna see here because I think it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how they different pattern they are. I'm shooting both loads today out of a my Beretta 1301T LTT Elite made by Ernest Langdon. Really fantastic shotgun, easy to shoot, good push pull, all that stuff. So uh, what we're gonna see here is I have two targets. I've actually repasted this target at seven yards. I put another target out at 15 yards. And again, why do we need targets out at 15 yards for patterning shotguns? We're trying to see what our effective ranges are and where could we use this shotgun effectively uh, in order to stop a, a threat. And you saw as well, that the target that the police officer had to shoot that he came up on was my guesstimation was somewhere between 15 and 17 yards. So that's actually a very reasonable distance to have to look at uh, in terms of shooting, certainly for police officers, I think also in a, a hallway or a longer shot in your home, somebody on your property, something like that could certainly, certainly be the kind of thing that you have to do. So let's start as always that we do by looking at our flight control. Now what the flight control is gonna do, guarantee you at seven yards is it is all gonna still be in the shot cup. And I actually like that. It's a column. What we're going to see there is when they go in as a column, when they're all still together, they act like pool balls, right? So when you use a cue ball and you hit the, the head ball on, in pool, it ricochets everything around. It transfers all that energy into the other ones and they all go and they all go off and do their thing. And I love that when it hits flesh, if it hits a bad guy right in the chest, then they collimate when they have collimated, then they pool ball all over inside and it creates a very devastating stop. It creates a stop where somebody just drops instantly. Whereas if the pellets spread out a little bit more, they could still be very very, very effective and very, very good, but it's more what we call a swarm instead of a column. So each one does its own thing. So to start, couple of flight control double op buck. Eight pellet, reduced recoil. You might also see the difference in how this gun recoils on me. <coughs> okay, we got that. Now I'm gonna shoot the, the flight control up into the head box here. Okay, what you can see there is two shots of flight control in the head box and they are both still in the shot cup at seven yards. Totally expected. Now, this is the triple op buck. Let's see how it performs. Again, still at seven yards here. Now, this is full recoil, so you might see a difference in how this gun uh, performs and how it beats me up when we do that. Let's see. I'm gonna aim for the body on this one. Good, We're set on that. Woo, holy Moses. Boy, that kicks like a mule. And I think we can really see a difference here already, even before we really see. Uh, guys, I don't have a cameraman today, so I'm just gonna walk down and show you. So you can see two wads here, and now we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 would be my guess. So what you have here is you have like a big fist size group, probably about a five inch spread there as your maximum spread, as opposed to this one. So would I call that triple lock buck useful at seven yards? Heck yeah, I'd call it useful at, at that. That's a big deal. Now you also have to recognize that this Beretta LTT Elite 1301 um, has somewhat of a vein comp barrel on it. It actually has been, you know, the, the forcing cone changed and all the stuff, uh, you know, in a similar manner. So this gun definitely shoots tighter patterns than most shotguns. All right, now we're gonna step to 15 yards. Again, going back to the flight control. Okay, I'm gonna go to the head box again.
might be a little hard for you to see there, but at 15 yards, basically every bit of the shot is still uh, in the head box, in a six by six box at 15 yards and almost in an individual shot cup, still almost in a column, which is pretty impressive. Now the triple up. Gonna aim for the body on this. I have a feeling the group's gonna be pretty big. Oh, holy, oh man, that stuff kicks like a mule. Okay. I think you could definitely see even with good push-pull. Whew, very different recoil. What you can see here at 15 yards, again, the flight control all inside the head box. Really, those are wads here, so you're all in a five inch kind of hand circle at that. Now, this other stuff, I did get one shot here, one shot a little bit farther right. But one of the things you can see here is Charlie to Charlie. So I'm at a probably, oh gosh, I'd say about a 12 inch group at 15 yards. Is that still usable in home defense distances? Absolutely, but I do want you to see that that triple ot without the flight control wad has a significantly bigger pattern than the flight control. So this is a, a big deal. The flight control much tighter. I really love the collimation here. I really love what I see out of that flight control. This is why I use that stuff. This is not bad. This is still totally usable at 15 yards and I think would totally be effective. But man, I think I can reach out a lot farther here with the flight control. So that's why I use it, not to mention the fact it recoils a lot less.